Is this the perfect battery storage system? This is the new Anker Solix X1 hybrid energy storage system and it's absolutely stunning. Anker Solix have flown us all the way to Germany to check out their brand new product. It launched in Europe earlier this week and we got VIP tickets to the launch event. So this is it, the new Anker Solix X1 and it's an amazing system. As you can see, it looks stunning and it's super thin, only 15 centimeters thin, which is about 40% thinner than most standard home battery systems. It does full backup, both for single phase and three phase systems. So this is actually a three phase 12 kilowatt inverter. They also do single phase in various sizes. The battery modules are five kilowatt hour battery modules, super safe, super powerful. For the three phase system, you can stack up to six battery modules. So 30 kilowatt hours of storage with a three phase inverter. In the single phase systems, you can also stack up to six battery modules per inverter for a total of 30 kilowatt hours of storage or up to 90 kilowatt hours of storage if you parallel three inverters together. So it's a very versatile system and expandable to meet your needs. This beautiful display here enables you to look at a glance at the product and see what it's doing. You can see the state of charge, what the home is using, what your solar is generating because it is a hybrid inverter but it can be used as an AC coupled system too. It's got an LED indicator under here which is really nice. It's white in normal mode, blue in off-grid mode or red if there's some kind of error. Overall, I just think it looks super sleek. And then there's the app to back it up with all of the app features too. So in the app, you can see what your solar's doing. You can see if you're pulling any power from the grid or not. At the moment, this whole building where we are is actually running off grid. It's like a container basically. And it's a self-sustaining power station just by the side of the road in the middle of Munich with about six solar panels running the entire thing. The home or this building, as we would say, is using 2.4 kilowatts and the battery is currently out putting at 2.15, it's at 74% state of charge. And you've got loads and loads of data in here that you can use to analyze your usage and make better use of your battery system. Another amazing thing about this system is the temperature range in which it works. It will work from minus 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to 55 degrees C, which means that if it's super hot or super cold, your batteries won't stop working. And that's quite a selling point for people who live in countries where it does get pretty chilly. Anker have designed a super easy and quick commissioning process, which as you know, we like at Artisan. So you just click connect, it scans for the devices, and you can see here, we found our device. We can tap on the device, put the password in, which is on the sticker on the side of the device. We've put the password in and it's correctly found the system. Now we're gonna put it onto our Wi-Fi network, but we've also got the option for 4G or ethernet. There we go, and then we click join. We choose the number of battery modules and the number of power modules. The power module is basically the inverter that goes at the top and then click refresh. It checks to make sure that the number of batteries that are connected to the power module is actually correct, which it is, and we've successfully generated our system ID. Now we need to do a firmware update, which can take up to 10 minutes and it's all over the air. Then it will automatically tell you which grid zone you're in. So we're here in Germany, but obviously if we're in the UK, it would select grid code G99 or G100. We can choose that manual as well if we want to. Then we've got all the other settings that we can tweak if we need to. And then we can click next and go on to the next step. This is where we can power on the system. And then we can set one or two meters depending on whether it's an AC coupled system or a hybrid system. And then we do a system test. Power module is working. Then we do the handover to the customer, which is as simple as putting the customer's email address in. They will get a verification code which comes back we pop that in here and we pair the system to the user and that means that the system's handed over and they now own the system. And that's it, it's all commissioned. Now as you know batteries can be quite heavy and one of our problems as installers is safely lifting battery modules into place. These are actually pretty light, so light in fact that two people can safely lift them into place. Which means you don't need a third man or special lifting equipment in order to fit these. that was an amazing introduction to this product. There were some things in that intro that I did not expect. For example, the fact that it's got such a high anti-corrosion rating, I had no idea that was even a thing. 
but it can be installed right next to the sea, which makes it a unique product for a lot of people who live along the coast. But let's go back to the stand at the main event and I'll tell you some more. Now let's talk about noise for a second. I know there's a lot of background noise here. Sorry about that if it's annoying you in the video, but it's a very busy event here. However, noise when it comes to battery storage systems is something that people don't talk about very much. If you've ever experienced an old noisy fridge, you'll know what I mean. They can be loud, buzzing, it can be very irritating. And some battery systems are quite loud as well. However, the Anker Solix X1 is very, very quiet. Quieter than even the most modern of fridges at around 30 decibels, which means it's not going to annoy you with its buzzing at night. Now, this system has tons more cool stats and features, but I am dying for a coffee. So let's have a little look around the event and see if we can pick one up. Massive solar panels. I've never seen solar panels this big before. I don't know how fun that would be lifting up onto a roof, but I guess it would save time in terms of installation. These are 620 watt panels. So we often get asked about the Tesla solar roof tiles because people want to know, like, can we fit them? They're not available in the UK right now, but these might be a good alternative. I don't know if these are out in the UK either, but they look amazing. You know, they just look like a roof tile but they're actually solar cells, which is incredible. Solid glass, quite big, and generate power from your roof. Yeah, just pressing the button. Oh, wow, it's pinching to my nose. I can't. Just, just like that. Oh, okay, oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> is this gonna replace all, all of our work laptops? Yeah. So one of the things that's been super fun about this exhibition is grabbing loads of freebies, and we just spotted these cookies which are from Squid Games, you know, with the little, you've got to scratch it out of the umbrella. That's the, the trickiest one. I don't know whether I want to risk my life on a cookie, but it's a good time. Well, it's very sticky. I don't have anything to scratch it with. If I just, if I just do that. Oh, so far, so good. Do you guys want coffee? Do you, do you want a coffee? So apparently you can get a coffee with your face printed on it. So we're going to see what my face looks like on a cup of coffee. Fantastic, thank you. Shake that out. Not a bad resemblance. Mm. I never drank my face before. Um, let's see, what? B4 and B5 looks like inverters. It's absolutely mind-blowing how big this place is. It's just huge. Looking at the map, it's sort of overwhelming. We've decided to just pick a few stands that we want to go and see, but it is absolutely massive. Now, there's a couple of hidden features within this unit that make it really interesting too. One of them is the fact that the batteries are connected in parallel and not series. Now, a little known fact is that if you've got series connected batteries and one of them gets connected with a lower state of charge than the others, you get what's called the barrel effect where it actually can limit the output of the overall set of batteries by the lowest common denominator. That's not ideal, especially if you've got a battery that gets replaced after a certain amount of time and you've got one newer battery with older batteries, it can cause issues. These being connected in parallel means that you won't get any barrel effect. So you'll get the maximum capacity and output of each battery individually without any barreling effect. Now there's another cool thing hidden behind this little panel. Let me show you. So up here is the communications port. Now you can connect a heat pump via the SG Ready communication protocol. That is a system that a lot of modern heat pumps have where they can communicate with another device. And what that means is that if the battery detects that you're exporting a lot of power, you can get the heat pump to trigger and start kicking in and make use of that excess solar rather than exporting it to the grid. Now this system contains an innovative energy optimizer which monitors the system at the module level. What that means is if one module has a problem, it will shut down that module but keep the rest of the system running. 
when it comes to backup power, Solix X1 has that too. Via the backup terminal on the inverter, you can power a backup panel and run selected loads that are important to you so that you keep the power running in the event of a power cut. Now the outer case of this battery system doesn't just look beautiful, but it also provides a C5 anti-corrosion rating. Now you might think, well, what on earth does that mean? What it means is this is one of the rare battery storage systems that can be installed next to the C. Because C contains salt water, if you look at the manufacturer's instructions for most battery systems, they say it shouldn't be installed anywhere closer than 200 meters to the sea. This can be installed on a house by the beach, no problem, it's not gonna corrode. It's been tested for a thousand hours with salt water splashing against it. It's IP65 rated, so it can stand all weathers and even salty air. Now when it comes to new battery storage products, it's always a bit of a question mark about how reliable and how solid the product is gonna be. But with Anker, it's a bit different because they've got such a history when it comes to making power banks, making battery technology. I've been using Anker power banks for years. They're bulletproof. They've taken me all around Asia, kept my devices charged. So I know that Anker make good products that are reliable and that last. So them releasing a product like this now already gives us a level of confidence that we know it's gonna be a superb product. So is this the perfect battery storage system? Well, overall, I'm really impressed. It looks great and the stats really seem to hold up compared to a lot of the competitors. However, we won't know for sure until we install it in the real world. And we do have that video coming up very soon. So make sure you like and subscribe to get more information about this system. And there'll be a link below where you can find out more too. We think you'll love these two videos as well. So why not settle in and watch those?